Ahoy hoy fey fam! Gotcha bitch! What is poppin' hey guys doing today man? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video is how to paint splatter. As many of you guys know I got a brand new BMX if you've seen last week's video. My brand new bike check. 2018 free agent bike man. It's pink. It's got the paint splatter. So a lot of you guys wanted to know how I did it. Today's video is explaining exactly how I did it. Guys, first thing you want to do is get yourself a nice sort of sheet or something that you can lay down so that your mom or your dad or your girlfriend or your wife or whoever doesn't get mad at you for getting paint all over the driveway or the house. Guys, you want to get yourself some paint markers. I just got mine from Walmart down the street. I mean, it cost me like $10, I think. It's super cheap. You can get like a value pack so you can get like four or five in one packet. Once you've got your paint markers and you've got your area set up, it's time to get painting. You know what I'm saying? Guys, step number one is get the first color you want to use and shake it up really well. The more you shake it, the easier it's going to be to get shaky, you know what I'm saying? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Alright, after you've shaken it up enough, what you want to do is then remove the cap and on a hard surface, you want to push this thing in until it fills this yellow tip with the paint. As you can see, it's starting to come through now. There we go, now that it's full, you're on to the next step. Guys, next step once you've got the tip filled is get yourself some pliers, grab the end of it, and pull it out just like so, and now you're ready to paint splatter. If you're finding that not too much is coming out, guys, all you wanna do is put the tip back in. That's what she said! And then press some more paint into the tip. You're then gonna have more paint splatter come out. And another thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna splatter the paint all from the same angle every single time and you don't want to get it too even or it's going to look out of place. Guys, once you've got your first layer done, your first color basically in other words, I did my hubs, I did my rims and I did my little uh, peg what do you call that thing? Oh yeah, hub guard. I did my little hub guard as well. Move on to the second color and just repeat the same process that I just did. Guys, I actually just figured out that if you just pull the entire cap off and then you get your same pliers and you pull this little clear part out, it gives you so much more paint. It's crazy. Check this out. But you have to be careful that you don't completely cover it just like I just did and maybe ruined it. I'm gonna have to even that up with some more blue. But I think everything else so far is looking pretty good. 10 seconds later. All right guys, now we're cooking with gas. I got the sprocket done. I've got the hubs done. I got the stem done. And I've got the rims done. And everything is looking naughty. I went a little bit crazy on this one and a little bit crazy on this one, but it's all good. Now it's time to do the bars. Let's get it. All right guys, so after a few hours, after you've let your parts kind of dry a bit and made sure that they're, they're nice and touch dry, I actually left mine overnight. You wanna get yourself some clear coat spray paint and you basically wanna make sure that you give the parts a clear coat all the way around the entire way just to make sure that all the paint splatter doesn't rub off. So that's it guys, it's easy as that. For less than $10 you can paint splatter your own BMX parts and make it look freaking steezy like mine, you know what I'm saying? It's every Tuesday, it's every Thursday. Faith fam, I love you all. Stay chill, join the movement to get left behind and I'll freaking see you in the next video, man. <laughs>